Hey all together and very welcome to this Dark of Two Crazy Replays today on TV uh, on Coda Letter Edition with a TVC. There you go. Oh man. Uh, I guess that's the last TVC for Heart of the Swarm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have in pedal, so yeah. After that, no more Heart of the Swarm TVC for you guys, I guess. So. Here we have spawning in the left top position, it's the Red Sir QB. And he's playing against me, spawning in the right bottom position, it's the Blue Terran Alex Sasha. So, uh, typical standard stuff opening so far. Oh no! Uh, gas trick, okay, I was wondering already. So, extract the trick, not really sure if it's worth it or not but yeah whatever so the overlord on its way barracks should be on the way as well mm, yep there you go and maybe there we go with the refinery nice and it looks like Yubi is opting for a hatch first which is fine you can do that it's Still possible legacy of the white as well. And here you go. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then most likely it's going to be pool and then guys. Or maybe the other way around, but Ooh, 16. Okay, up to up to 16 drones. Very interesting. So the pool is a little bit delayed here. I wonder why there is no music that is so annoying and there we have the spawning pool a bit delayed to be honest and there's the gas most likely yes reaper on its way being introduced which is really helpful for scouting and yep that little overlord wobbling around Huh. You should think that our overlord could be dangerous. I mean, with the claws and the stuff and the spikes and the tentacle like legs thingies. But no, he's totally harmless. So, yeah. Don't be scared from an overlord. Unless he has the, I guess, ventral sacs and, can, and, and he can transport units. Very interestingly, we see double reaper for me. Uh, yeah, and uh, there are six circling, so I might be able to get a drone kill here <coughs> if QB isn't reacting. Oh, that was close. Yeah, puts it into the safety of the extractor. Oh, cancels it. I might get it. <coughs> Maybe. Uh, two circlings on the way to the external watch show and to my base. But the drone so far survives. Yep, there's the second Reaper. We'll shoot those bad boys. Uh, they won't be able to scout anything useful. They just know, okay, there is a command center being produced, but that's it. Not the best scout. Did I lose a Reaper there? It looks like I did. No. Oh, I killed two circlings. Or, or... Yeah. I don't know what happened there. What is the screen doing? Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, we see a Roach one. That's a super early Roach one. And... I didn't see it. I don't even see the watchtower. So that... Could deal super massive damage. So the potential for damage is there. And yeah, income wise, drone wise, he hasn't drawn too much. But he's producing a lot of roaches. And I guess he wants to be aggressive with them, most likely. Otherwise, that would be really weird. Uh, two Hellions out so far, but I guess I'm just moving out with four. Uh, have a look around here. Might get those circlings. Maybe not. Ooh, and a lot of circlings behind it. So. <clears throat> a roachling all in or a roachling push 
he gets a hellion there, maybe. Ooh, that's <clears throat> a bit close. And yeah, those roaches. The wall off, not even near completion. And he sees it, QB sees it. Uh, two SUVs to repair the hellion, which is fine, but army supply wise, it's looking quite good for QB. The only good thing for me is <coughs> that I get the Banshee. And the banshee could be helpful a lot. Oh, the hellions intercepting those circlings. That's really good. And he's marching into my natural there. Ah, uh, okay, supply depot raised. But the hellions can't pass by those roaches. And that's really bad. Normally I wanna have the hellions attack ooh, the circlings and the banshee attack the roaches. But so far that's not really looking too good. Uh, pulling all those SCVs. Uh, the circlings have been cleaned up, and it looks like the roaches will die as well, but how much damage do they deal? Oh, a lot. Oh, more and more circlings are coming. He's droning a little bit now, QB here, but it looks like he can't, he, he can't break it, but he takes down a supply depot there, and yeah, overall, 10 worker killed against a triple command center opening? That's not enough, but more and more circlings are flooding in here, and... With the help of the Hellions, it should be enough to clear this. Ooh! Will he slip by? No, but he might get all the Hellions there. And that's, that's bad for me. So he can deal more and more damage. Might grab two more SCVs here. Yes, he does. The band Oh, Captain Banji there. Uh, he gets another supply depot and might even cancel the other one as well. Oh, yeah. So overall, damage dealt okay. Uh, the harvest account. Okay, for QB now as well. He goes for the lair and for gases now. I'm still a bit active with the circling. He's pushing in with the overlord. And I don't know about that. He's, it looks like he's throwing away the rest of his circlings, canceling supply depot. Yes, it's a bit damage dealt, but not too much. And two banshees here. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. He will be forced to cancel it. He doesn't cancel it. No cancel. Ah, he didn't pay attention to that. Maybe he was active with the circlings, I don't know. And, oh, that's that's bad. Yeah, two queens can't win a battle against two banshees, but three queens can. And there is no cloak, so in the spore crawler, yes, you need to produce them, because you never know if it's cloak or not. But, yeah. That is... <laughs> but the actually completes into a lair. And now he can get the Spire, which he is doing. So still on two bases. And he sends out another drone. But those Banshees could kill it, maybe. We will see. There are still circuits out of the map. Finally, the eBays are going down. For me, which is really nice. And additional barracks. Income-wise, it's looking good for me now. Just five worker behind. And yeah, those Banshees still don't have any... Upgrades or cloak research, but that's that's fine. Guess is taken for me. Plus one one starts, and other than speed, there is not much tech for for QB here. So after his all in, not the best transition into the mid game. Mm, where are the banshees? Oh, there's one Viking killing stuff. Three banshees in total. Wow, three banshees. So they could. They could be very useful later on. Of course, against Mutalus, there's day no chance, but... They're good against drones. They are good for... Killing banelings and circlings. So, as long as I can keep them alive during a fight, they can deal a lot of damage. Oh yes, so... He checks that there is still no third base taken. And I wonder when I will move out with the third base, which is exactly now. Oh, the Overlord will get taken out there. Bye bye. Mm, those circlings. Yeah, and income wise, I have to say, it's not looking too good for QB here. He lost the Overlord as well, now he's a fly cap. Nine Utilists on the way, which is good, but there are two turrets, there is one turret, there is a turret, and in the middle of the line there are two as well, so I guess three total. Yeah, six in total, uh, three per base, and that's totally safe. Uh, he's chasing those Hellions. You need to be careful not to walk into a bunch of Marines. There they are. And yes, they have 1-1. One, one. And Stim! Ooh. 
but oh he might get the viking there but the viking paid for itself two overlord kills that's okay not really super amazing but it's okay mm, yeah there are the medivacs plus one armor finished up oh and i got some hell vats as well so this is very strong force you be by himself taking a fourth base and getting some upgrades still no evolution chambers and that is the biggest issue here for QB. Because he will fight 0 0 against 2 2 if he doesn't add them soon. In the meantime, I'm heavily supply capped. I might throw down some extra supply, but for now, doesn't seem like. And yeah, that, that that's not a lot of utilis, but with 9 to 10 utilis, you can be annoying and deal some damage. If you go up to 16 or 20, then it's becoming really dangerous for the Terran. Then he needs to be very careful uh, and keep track of the Nutilis. The Medivax loading up, dropping and pushing at the same time. That is how you play Terran, with Bio at least. The Benji is trying to be active but those are not a lot of reads. Yes they got Com Machines and 1-1 one, one, but oh one Benji dies. There's the drop, there's the second drop and here we go. Uh, circlings killing everything. I'm losing the Medivax for free which is really bad. Uh, oh, but the hell yeah, this, the hell that's killed the circlings. Mm, and there's the double drop. He might lose a queen here. And another drop. So far, not too much damage dealt. The mutilists are coming to kill that. A lot of banelings rolling in. Stutter stepping back as best as I can. And to be honest, not too many worker kills here. 14, which is okay. Uh, but now it's even in worker, so. Oh! Ooh. Uh. Saving at least one medivac, but here's the second wave coming and 2-2 two, two is on the way as well. I don't have too many Widow Mines with that, just two. Only two there, but it's okay. Should be enough. Oh, the Mutalisk! Yeah, need to be so carefully losing one there, two, three, maybe even if, uh, four. And yeah, the Creep Spread is looking okay. Oh, what are those Marines doing? Supply wise, I'm also ahead and army supply, yeah, that's, that's, army supply and upgrades are favoring me currently, that's, that is not too good here for QB, to be honest. Uh, he lost queens, so no injects, ooh, no injects on those, both hatcheries, that is really hurting him, he has 10 larva, but isn't producing anything. And he needs to produce, oh, a lot, only 5 banelings, and uh, there's the double drop again, and moving into the mid. Uh, here into the fourth base, slowly but surely, uh, adding a fourth command center as well. There's one drop, there's the second one. Ah, uh, very nice. Out of the vision from the Zerg, and there we go. And he might lose a queen here again. 2-2 uh, not finished, so that's not the best timing to attack. I definitely should wait for 2-2 to finish. But it's 1-1 against 0-0, and this drop gets cleared from the Banes. And I should have moved in in the meantime, not one after another. So the multitasking there, not the best. The timing's not the most crisp ones, but it looks uh, bad for me. I'm taking a lot of bad fights here, so that's that's unnecessary. Oh, the Thor. The Thor is the big boy. And the micro! Oh, <laughs> that was very close. The boost, the boost. Can I boost? I can boost. Oh, save the Thor. But now he's pushing me the whole base back, the whole way back to my base. And he kills the Thor, the Vitamin's burning with the speed upgrade. Massive splash damage and he loses a lot. Yeah, three Vitamin's there, burrowed and taken out a lot, so... And now it's 2-2 against 1-1. One, one. That's not the best either for Zerg. Uh, he droned up again, so he's on a fairly good econo uh, economy. But yeah, the injects are not hitting perfectly. There's a queen missing as well. The creep spread really bad at the fourth base. So he needs to change that, I guess. Because creep is so important. And there's another drop. There are not a lot of drones here, but all the tech buildings and the queen. So if I can't take out the queen, so that will mean that he lay. Oh, another drop here. The Vitamine takes out not too much. Hmm, interesting. Oh, uh, the Nutalis going in there with plus two attack, but he loses 
a lot of neutralists there, I guess two for almost just marines. Uh, okay, so he baits the widow mines and goes and kills everything. I have to go back there, saving all those units and oh! Yeah, he doesn't see what's behind the Xenar Watchtower, so need to be very careful. 3-3 three, three for me halfway done. I'm still applying a bit of pressure. I should morph this into a uh, planetary and get the turrets. But for now I'm missing macroing. Which isn't the best, to be honest. Could be better. You see the mistakes. I mean on the gas it's fine for the style I'm playing. If I would play mag then that would be disastrous. So it's not that big of an EU. Uh, the, uh, and oh, the Widow Mine! Ooh, nice kills there! And he loses the hatchery, the fourth base goes down. There's a counter attack, but turrets are up. And he has to. Ooh, this turret is burning. And the turret will go down, most likely. Oh no, it's getting repaired. Ooh, close one. <laughs> yeah, he lost some more drones. Not too many, but some. And. Oh, he moves in there. Nice bait with the Widow Mine. Mm. And the Thor stays strong for now. Oh, the boost is. Oh! The Mutalisks! Oh, they are so close to being dead. But there's a double drop here, and all those Mutalisks are so low, you can't fight that! Uh, it's looking. That's very close. But it was risky. It was risky. Oh no, the bait is real. The bait is so real! <laughs> Not too bad. A lot of utilists died there, and now there's an assault on the fifth base slash fourth base. And it doesn't look like QB can stabilize. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Bit of mind. Oh no! They are so awesome. And there we go. No GG. QB leaves the game. Ah, all right. So that was probably the last TVC I can show you guys in Heart of the Swarm. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and...